Hey guys, Villas Inc. back again, Raid to the Legends. Now, we, we're on this screen because I was showing how Doom Priest works uh, with her kit and so forth, running through her build, running through what makes her essentially what makes her so good. And I decided to go into Ice Golem. And we got to the boss, it began to. A very safe team. It was more safe than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I thought, we'll just cut to the end and I'll show you the damage. And for some reason, the file needed repairing. So I could not jump back in. So we have to re record again. So here we have Doom Priest essentially doing her part along with Syl with the healing. She has a cleanse and increased attack buff on the entire team. Not built for damage whatsoever. Uh, we'll get into her build in a minute. But uh, yeah, re recording this again. So, Doom Priest, Enforce Affinity Tank, good in Spider, good in Dungeons. Pretty much good everywhere. An old school champion. Uh, you would see her in clan boss teams with Skull Crusher, Steel Skull. Raz and Scar hide. She would be removing the stun. Uh, she would be giving that heal, that increased attack buff. And especially with relentless sets now and reflex sets. She can be extremely good. She can be like a Vrask, depending on the people you, you put her in with. She can give you tremendous heals. So... Her kit is based off of attack, but we're not using her attacks. We're using one bit of her kit that we will get to in just a moment. <clears throat> her base HP, 19,320. So, quite respectable. She's not a HP based champion, but a support champion. So, in my opinion, it's a ve very solid uh, start for her HP. Attack, 980. Doesn't matter. We'll get to that soon. Defense 1035 as a base. Anything over a thousand I've said is quite good. Uh, obviously, if it's a defense based champion, it would be higher, but as long as it's over a thousand, it's much easier for your 50% defense chest. Or if it's a HP champion, HP percentage chest, it's easier for them to have more value uh, rather than having like a Fane or a Rowan type of defense where it's really really low um, you know, so a thousand is very solid and it's base to begin with speed 100 she's a fast check crit, crit damage irrelevant resist is a base of 30 and accuracy is zero so we're going to go to the stats and we're going to see how she is built she currently has 52,430 HP 2,126 defense, 248 speed, so she could be quicker, but this is a build that has resist on it, so it is what it is, still very happy with it. Crit rate crit damage has not been focused on at all, resistance has, because I want to make sure nothing gets put on her, I don't want her to have to wait for a, a turn to do this, turn to do that. She just has a resistance build. Now we'll get to a part of our kit that kind of makes you think, well, why would you kind of want a resistance build when she can do a certain act? This is just kind of how this is just how she's built, and it works very well. First and foremost, you do not need books, you do not need masteries. Uh, skills, we have Fate to Weave, attacks one enemy, it's a, it's a critical hit, one person gets increased uh, increased crit rate, so it's, you're not going to use her for this uh, A1, it just could be a lot better, it could just be increased crit rate on the whole team, uh, but a random ally it kind of makes no sense, but it's a single hit, mass protection, oh, sorry, mass possession, this is a 50% increased attack buff on all allies for two turns. This is good three turns and a two turn cooldown. Especially if you have like an old school clan boss team. That increased attack buff 
allows more damage. If it's an arena team, it's more damage. If it is like, dungeons, faction wars, doom tower teams, it's it's accessing more damage. So it's very good A2, very useful A2. But her bread and butter is both her. It is her passive that has no cooldown. So every single time she takes a turn, she will remove one random debuff, like the Resurgent Mastery. And she also heals all allies by 7.5% of their HP. So if you have high hit champions with high HP, they're going to get a bigger heal because they have a bigger HP, pretty much. This is why you use her. This is what makes her so good. And this is why we started the video in Ice Golem. So I figured Ice Golem is a bit more difficult than Dragon. Uh, we took a team in that was maybe a bit too safe. Hoping to get slammed by the Ice Golem. We did. We did have some debuffs to remove. Um, but I felt like a good place to test it out. She could also be your uh, negative affinity tank in Spider. Attack her with defense resistance and then she will constantly get attacked, allowing your team to do what they gotta do. But I tell you what, we did go to Ice Golem last time, we are going to go to Dragon this time. Uh, because in Dragon, I'm pretty sure we're going to get hit with a, a debuff. And I think I have a team that when we get to the Dragon, we're going to see uh, the essence of what makes um, her so good, pretty much. So we need a champion there. We need him. He's the poisoner. He's a badass poisoner. We will need to take, where is the Woman of Honor? She is there. Nice uh, nice aura as well. If there's any force champions, they will receive a speed uh, boost. If she's in the main position. We're not using her for an attack, uh, so it makes a difference. With that being said, we're not taking Ghostborn. We will just take in Ceres. Um, just because uh, Ghostborn would be weak affinity, and uh, we would also take in let's just, just screw it a royal guard because I feel if we have if we take in, let me just see if we. Do go for if we go for seer, we need to we need to have somebody with a debuff. And who gives us the debuffs? A helmet. Would we have enough debuffs to kick the waves ass? No, because we can't do that on wave two. Cool, never mind. No, so we're taking in raw guard. Where are you? Royal Guard number one, and we're taking in uh, where are you? Where are you? Let's just go with this one. It's a team, it, we'll, we'll see kind of what we're going for and what we're trying to achieve in just a moment. We're trying to think of a team off the cuff that can do certain things. You may think of a million things at once. So, both are passive, straight away heal. Uh, if we did have any debuffs, they would be removed. The heal's fantastic, working in sync with uh, Cell of the Drakes. Uh, so, they have great synergy together as far as cleansing and healing. You have the support part of Cell of the Drakes kit as well. <coughs> Raw guard obviously doing a big bit of damage. The dragon, however, will be fighting Kale. Kale will be throwing up poisons. We'll be getting hit with debuffs. Doom Priest will shine. She will begin to remove those, give us heals that will be quite clutch. Or maybe not clutch, 
we're just essential. It'll be a good show off of what she can do. So there we go. We're just about to. Oh, we can't have anybody getting slapped. So come on, draw a guard. I think we'll be, we'll be, will be jump ahead to the boss because when I jumped ahead to the boss last time and I only paused the video for, sorry I never paused it, we just kind of cut ahead maybe a minute and a half, I think the fight went on for, just so you weren't too bored by it, Um, we kind of had to repair that file which is not good. Um. The fifth, as long as we get enough stuns, we should be good with uh, doing damage to these champions. But in essence, the struggle that we have here it just shows that the heals we're getting keep us alive. Potentially, make sure that we're not going to get one shot by the fifty dollar champion. And we're just about to hit to this dragon, so <coughs> we. We will be getting hit with debuffs here, and I can hear the kid going a bit crazy, so you might hear commotion in the background. But let's see. So, poison, relentless kill. He may take a turn, he might not. We want to get attacked once or twice. We want to get attacked just so we can see the. The whole cleansing part of Doom Priest's kit. So here we go. Are we going to get any more poisons? That's not a bad one. Extra turn. Both are passive. Increased attack. Nice heal before the attack to top us all up. Take a turn. So <clears throat> all those debuffs will weaken or the poisons will be stripped off. Both are passive. Doesn't take it all away. But it takes one of them away and gives you a heal. So it's very good. And essentially, a ghost takes a turn again. More debuffs are gone. And should take another turn. If you still have the other debuff, then that debuff is going to go away. That's pretty much how it works. She's a research, she's the resurgent mastery with arms and legs. So we now get hit with decreased attack. This doesn't necessarily bother us because we are using debuffs to kill the dragon. Uh, apart from the odd hit from Raw Guard, but it's boom, all gone, and we get healed again. Fantastic. Again, heal from Sil. Great synergy with Silo the Drakes and Doom Priest. The ob I'm pretty sure those videos, Doom Priest and Silo the Drakes, just Pretty much can support any dungeon team in like a relentless, it's just relentless, uh, relentless builds. I don't think it was a regen build, I think it was just the constant turns, the constant heals, the constant cleanse, and the con constant this, constant that. And we've been kind of safe here. Sell the Jakes can revive anybody that we need to revive, but this has been a in essence, a better show off, or a better, a better show of the skills of Doom Priest compared to the Ice Golem, and it only took us four minutes thirty five seconds. <coughs> she didn't do much damage. It's not what she's there for. Three hundred and fifty four thousand at the bottom, a respectable number as far as the amount of healing. And in essence, also is a better show off of. Maybe better than the first video we did, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. But that's kind of going to do it for this one. Uh, that is the new build for Doom Priest, and that is also a show off of the kit and the passive of Doom Priest. The reason why you would take Doom Priest into your teams, and the reason that Doom Priest was used many, many moons ago in pretty much any clan boss team as a cleanser, as a healer. As your increased attack champion. I mean, she really, really was just the champ. One of the champions that you kind of have to have. So, 
with that being said that is the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed this little show off for doom priest one of the ogs of teleria yeah i'm going to let you get back to enjoying your beautiful thursday i hope you enjoy a fantastic friday guys if i don't see you but i probably will but stay safe keep on reading and i'll definitely definitely see you soon